Hey everybody, what is up? It's your good friends Corey Camp and Brian McGill back at you with a special What's Up Wednesday this week. Um, I hope you all got your coffees because we got a lot to talk about. We got a really special guest, um, uh, David Wakefield, the CEO and the thought leader in blended professional learning here in Sydney. I'll have a little better introduction for him, but let's kind of get into the week. Corey, what you got cooking? Well, you know, I, I want to start out by highlighting one of the things that I know we are all really excited about. We've got a couple of things. We've got a lot of things we're excited about here. So um, we're, we'll kind of keep it short uh, and sweet. We've been uh, doing a lot of announcements here lately because things are, are really starting to come to fruition. But we ever since our conversation with Janice and Stephen from the Impact Learning and Leading Group uh, about their free virtual summit that they're doing on reopening America's schools. We've continued some conversations just because they're great, a great group to, to work with. We love Janice and Steven. And so we are excited to announce that um, we are helping support their conference. Brian, do you want to pull up their page? If you have not yet registered for this virtual summit, it's completely free. The lineup here is amazing. All of these amazing educators and thought leaders um, are coming together, offering their time for free. Check back, I think it was two weeks ago when we went with Janice and Steven about this um, conference, but go and register. You can go to impactlearnandlead.com and you'll find this uh, link to their in their events. But um, we're really proud to be able to help them cover some of the, the Zoom costs for uh, this great virtual summit. I know I'm registered for it. Uh, we are planning on doing some, uh, Brian, this is your term, reflection casts afterwards. So these these will be some, some of these days are going to be kind of longer days uh, for the summit. So, you know, attend as you can. But if you miss anything, we're going to be chatting with Janice and Steven at the end of the day, just a little bit about some of our favorite things from that that event. So um, check it out. Check out our friends. Again, it's a completely free summit. Yes, the Reopening America Schools is going to be a really exciting opportunity for uh, folks to still get some summer virtual conference. And this is a very important topic right now. Yeah. I mean, the, this is like, you know, whether you're an educator, a parent or um you know, I think have anything to do with if your students are, um, if, if you're a teacher, you could likely be able to run this by your, um, your maybe your, uh, maybe your campus leader mm -hmm. or somebody from professional development and get some PD credit because there are going to be 19 speakers. My roommate, he had to do like 12 hours of professional development credit. Well, what if you could get some of your hours uh, learning more about a relevant topic Reopening America's schools is a great place to go. So yeah. um, there we go. Um, what, what else? Well, we, last night, Brian, you were a part of, um, I had some some late late night meetings and uh, then had to tend to my family. So I haven't had a chance to, I didn't have a chance to watch the webinar live on how virtual coaching with video is helping remake teachers, uh, remake the way teachers learn at work. But I was pretty amped about this. I've been hearing great things about uh, the Trinity Christian Academy and the things that we've been doing in our partnership with them. And so how did it go last night, Brian? Well, we had a really exciting crowd. Um, we were coast to coast from Washington State and California, all, all the way over to Pennsylvania, DC. Uh, we had a very active chat. Um, and our uh, friends down at the Trinity Christian Academy shared uh they also were going coast to coast on the entire experience from beginning their uh, their journey with virtual coaching, some of their lead teachers, um, uh, learning some skills and then finding another gear. They actually became on-site instructional coaches as teacher leaders. But some of the new teachers on that in that program had still stayed with virtual coaching year over year. And they're uh, essentially they I think the, 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 the biggest moment for me was when every single one of these teachers mentioned that there was some really important skills that they learned in that experience that are going to carry with them for the rest of their careers. And that was a I mean, that 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 made my heart warm inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. that's the kind, that's the kind of experience virtual coaching offers you the real skills, the real um, where the rubber meets the road. Um, opportunities to, um, uh, you know, to you know, essentially 
you know, find success in your classroom. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And our virtual coaching, uh, coaches, our virtual coaches here at Sydney are the cream of the crop. They are some of the best individuals. They help us develop a lot of our content and our courses. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but um, great work that they do. If you're like me and missed out on this webinar yesterday, um, go check it out. Go to learn.sydney.com. You're going to be able to find uh, it in our on-demand webinars category on our uh, site. So um, go check it out. You can watch it, the replay for free as usual um, there. So, and, and we'll continue to um, also, if you read, if you pre-registered, you'll also kind of be receiving some takeaways and summaries and next step things uh, for these webinars as we, as we move forward through the week. So in addition to that, um, you know, just wanted to shout out, we'll continue to share more information as we uh, go through this month, but there's my little remote learner back there. Um, <clears throat> We have our conference. We finally have a logo. We talked about this last week. We didn't have and all of our graphics. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Brian it was so giddy about this logo when he's it's a beautiful one. We have an amazing creatives team that he laughed out loud and TJ and I were like, is this a happy laugh? Is this a, what is what is this? So it's it's a beautiful logo. So thanks to May and any on our creatives team for making this. But um, we're really excited about this conference that will yeah. be at the end of June. And so if you want to find out more information, I'll put the link in the chats, but info.sydney.com slash better together. And uh, also if you would like to present at this conference. So this conference is a free conference. It's two days. It's all about amplifying the voices of people who are coming together and really transforming professional learning. If you're doing something out of the box, either independently with a small team or at a big scale, we would love for you to come and share what you are doing. So um, more information to come on this, but we're excited about that conference for sure. I'm excited about some of the early proposals too, Corey, because yes. a lot of these, a lot of these proposals being submitted are sessions where teams of, of uh, members of the faculty have come together to work on a very innovative project or skill or STEM uh, curriculum for their students. And it's truly been a better together year for the SIBI community. And mm -hmm. um, we're also good. Uh, TJ says he's getting Jenga blocks for giveaways. SIBI Jenga blocks, get excited. So, yeah, yep. it's super <laughs> exciting. All right, Brian. So uh, let's move into our main segment for the day. We're super excited. I'm going to let you do the intro, but um, I'm excited to have David uh, on the show with us. He recently did a webinar. He's kind of coming in front of the camera a little bit more this month. He's always got amazing things to say and share. And so today uh, I'm going to let you take it away with the intro, Brian. When I met this guy, he was uh, one of the, the scoring leaders in our adult hockey team. Uh, along the way, he was named the thought leader in blended professional learning by a good friend, Justin Bader of the Principal Center. Uh, now he leads, uh, he's one of the leaders in a, a very, emer a, a really exciting emerging market in video coaching and collaboration. Uh, welcome to the show, Sydney's founder and CEO, David Wakefield. Hello. Welcome, Dave. Hey, thanks for having me today. Hey, yeah. That, Great to thanks. Be here. Thanks for joining the party, Dave. We're uh, it's been an exciting um, a handful of years now. Um, it, I, I, we're so excited that you came here to talk to us about this. Uh, you know, a little bit more relaxed fashion. Corey, what? Um, how are you? How excited are you about today? Yeah, I'm really excited, and um, we'll kind of we'll kind of jump right into it. But I do want uh, we got quite a few viewer live viewers today, so oh. we've got a question for Mr. David Wakefield. Uh, put it in the chat below, and and we'll feature it for you. But we really just wanted to have you on today to talk to us a little bit about um, you know how Sydney came about, and uh, you know your vision for that, and then as we move forward. So. You and I have kind of this a similar backstory into how we found video to be that disruptive technology for our own professional learning. So I'd love for you to share with everyone um, why you created SIPI. How did that come about? Uh, and tell us a little bit about that story. Well, sure. So I was, uh, like many of our team members, a, a former classroom teacher. Um, so I started, of course, my career in education as a teacher, uh, high school teacher. I started uh, in 2004 teaching 
English, and then I ended up teaching uh, in more of the social studies later on in my career. And, um, you know, at the time, it was, uh, I think, professional development and, and still in a lot of cases today is, uh, you know, the way adults are are you know are taught to learn is is really you know uh, not the best way um, um, to you know improve teachers and and sort of improve their practice. So you know oftentimes I think we we try to we we, we tell teachers to, to you know differentiate their learning uh, for their students, engage their students, um, uh, but in a lot of cases today adults are sort of left with sit and get learning experiences where they're just passive consumers of, uh, of, in, of information. So, you know, at the time, that's a lot of the professional development that I attended, uh, and it wasn't really a good use of my time. And uh, I felt like we were missing the boat on a good opportunity to improve that experience for adults. So ultimately, they're better for their kids. Yeah, yeah. And I, that was kind of my same experience. I kind of fell into to the use of video because I wanted to, I was actually moving into a uh, blended or trying to do kind of a flipped classroom. But um, when I saw myself on video, it was the ninth time. The first eight times were like five second views that I immediately deleted. But that ninth one I finally watched and it really became the, the, best, the best professional learning experience I could have had. And so it was transformational for me. And as the year went on, I um, started to to dip out of just self-reflection. I'm the only one who kind of sees those and, and works those to sharing it with some peers and mentors for some feedback. And it really, really is transformational. Um, will you tell everybody what Sydney stands for? We get that question a lot. So uh, tell us how you kind of came up with the, the name Sydney. Sydney uh, stands for seeing is believing me. So uh, at the time, you know, there weren't a lot of domain names, so that's what we kind of landed on. But, but really, it, it does have a meaning. Uh, you know, it is. I, I do believe that reflection is one of the most powerful forms of professional growth. So, uh, SIBME stands for that. And uh, when we, you know, are better and more reflective practitioners, we're we're really just going to get better at what we do. So, you know, SIBME is all about reflection, feedback, having really powerful conversations around what you do at work. And, um, you know, and that's sort of what I think uh, teachers and other professionals are craving uh, in terms of trying to get better at work, uh, improve their careers, and ultimately, um, you know, be more productive. And, um, you know, that's what we're really trying to do here at Sydney. Yeah, and we, we got a comment, uh, Michelle Bre at uh, Texas State University, I believe at that, that's the same Michelle. Uh, love learning about the name, seeing is believing me. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, all right, Brian, I'll kick it over to you. Well, you know, it's now that we've been in this market for a few, for a, you know, a handful of years and we've kind of come a long way. We've, we've, uh, we've, we made a lot of achievements. What are some of the most? What are some of the achievements you're most proud of since founding Sydney in uh, 2012? I think the biggest thing is uh, sort of creating something from nothing out of a classroom, like just showing the world that you know any teacher in America could do this. Uh, you know, they see a problem, uh, they identify that problem, and realize there's just a better way to do things. And um, you know, just hopefully, you know, I can show that you know, anybody can kind of do this uh, if you just stay committed and then ultimately build a great team. So really what I'm most proud of is the team that we've created at Sydney. Just a lot of really passionate folks, educators um, that are really making a big difference. And without the team, there is no Sydney. So, you know, it's one of those things that is very collaborative in nature and that you can't build anything great without great people. Um, and it's it's never one person or one thing. So uh, what we're building here at Sydney is is bigger than me, uh, and and you know and ultimately really needed in the world. And and when you see something that's needed, and uh, you know you're really dedicated to to sticking with it and solving a big big problem. And um, you know there's just a lot of you know me too products out there and services. I really do believe that. Sydney is different uh, and, and is, is, a, is an amazing service and solution for, 
for schools, university teacher prep programs, and and ultimately companies that you know also need to develop their workforce. Yeah, yeah, and and I think we we do. It's one of the best places to work. We are all extremely passionate and um, knowledgeable, but knowledgeable, but at the same time transparent and uh, constant learners. And so you know, we use Sydney internally to continue our growth and learning. And so um, I think that's one of my favorite things. And I think our extended family, uh, all of our 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 clients and customers are also a big part of helping continue to improve the product, right? We, we um, Jenny Sulfridge and customer success team does an amazing job at listening to what our customers need and how we can continue to grow and refine as a platform for sure, for sure. So, uh, so Dave, tell us a little bit about <clears throat> what we are looking forward to and what, what can others look forward to from Sydney as we uh, move forward. Yeah, in a lot of ways, I think Sydney is just getting started. Um, you know, we've been at this for almost now eight years, but, um, you know, in terms of the, the sort of long game in changing the behaviors, the changing way, uh, changing the way folks work and do things is really actually rapidly accelerating right now because of COVID-19. Um, actually, you know, I'm very bullish on sort of the the amazing changes that are going to come in education. Although, you know, COVID has been a terrible thing, um, you, know, you know, in terms of how we deliver education uh, in, in a blended way, right, where it's it's not one or the other where, uh, you know, we're on site or we're remote. It's it's a combination of mm -hmm. sort of anytime, anywhere learning where you don't need to be in a building at a certain time or be in a meeting at a certain time. Uh, the way we sort of reimagine and rethink the way we deliver education, the, the way we deliver professional learning, not only to students and, and adults, but, um, you know, companies working remote. Uh, sort of Sydney is a part of that sort of next wave that's going to be coming, which is, you know, companies that need to be more nimble, need to be more flexible. Um, and ultimately, you know, uh, uh, you can work from anywhere and you can learn from anywhere. So schools sort of are in this mindset that the only way you can learn is in a classroom, which is which is just not true. I, I value the classroom. I think it's extremely important to build those connections and re those relationships. But you can design amazing online experiences for students. You just have to really think about it in different ways that it's not the same, um, but the, the world of technology has gotten so much better that you almost feel like you're in the room speaking to folks in a Zoom meeting. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we're recreating that experience online. It's like, how can we recreate the on-site or in-person experience and make it as realistic as possible online. And that's really what we're trying to do here at Sydney. And that's sort of the direction that we're moving in is that we're going to recreate that experience online, that you can do most of that work. And the advantage of that is that it's anytime, anywhere, is that you can, yeah. uh, you know, you can work whenever you need to work and not necessarily be have to be present at a certain time. Yeah, and I just wanna, you know, there's one of my kids fingers in the right place, uh, who's excelled in this this remote learning environment. And it, it's a blended remote learning environment for him. They have some live sessions and some independent asynchronous, some on screen, some off screen. So I want to go to the chat because we have a couple of questions um, for you, uh, Dave. At first, I want to give a sh shout out to Kim Ramadan, who says, it's great to see you. We love um, me. Hi, Kim. <laughs> hey, Kim. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, both Michelle and Chucky's questions because I think they're very similar and then uh, let you respond to these. So uh, Michelle Breeden at Texas State says, you know, many Texas schools want to offer remote learning experiences given our current teaching and learning climate. Has Sydney offered training or ideas for using this platform in this way? Can you direct me where to find resources I'd love to share with others? So um, we'll definitely uh, point you in some of those directions. I've, I've definitely been doing that. And then um, Chucky says, uh, is there going to be an opportunity for synchronous live application uh, within Sydney, like scheduling an observation on another campus live? So I know we've got some answers for this, Dave. So I'm going to let you share, um, share that. 
Well, we're excited to share that that now exists. Uh, so uh, it is available. Uh, we just actually launched that um, service this spring. We were actually going to launch it be right before COVID happened. And of course, everybody, you know, are no longer in school. So can't really test out this service when uh, when uh, teachers aren't in their classrooms. But uh, the service does now exist. Uh, you can live stream your classrooms uh, from your iPhone, your Android phone, your webcam on your computer. Uh, so we kind of cover all those different devices that all of your teachers have access to. Um, so it is available now. We're excited about it. In yeah. addition to that, those of you that don't know, we have the integration with Zoom uh, WebEx uh, so that you can connect uh, the video conferencing solutions that you use to your Sydney account as well. Uh, really creating that whole synchronous, asynchronous experience, which is what we're really most proud of here is that you usually find one or the other. Uh, you're either going to use a synchronous solution or you're going to use an asynchronous solution. Uh, we're bringing all of that together in one place uh, so that you can do your video conferencing, you can do your uh, live observations uh, via video, you can do your asynchronous observations via video in terms of uh, having timestamps you know, making your timestamp comments when you need to from your, and the great thing about it is we're mobile first. So we're really only the only solution out there that you can do most of this work from your phone. Yeah. And I know everybody is working from their phones these days. I probably do half of my work from my phone. 50% uh, of, of my day is on my phone rather than on the computer. So, yeah. uh, you know, being able to do that all from your phone, web, uh, and your and of course your computer. Uh, we're really excited about being able to provide that to everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's definitely to to your point, Michelle, been a big conversation. Um, I spent yesterday evening talking with the district about this and some regional service centers and some higher ed organizations. We've all had these conversations about how you can utilize the current technology if you're a SIDME user um, to do all those things. I mean, it's always done synchronous and asynchronous, um, but now there's more sophisticated ways like to do a live uh, web conference meeting inside a huddle that if you hit that record button, when you're done, it will automatically upload as an artifact into the huddle, which is amazing so that 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 whole thing was saved. Um, and then the live stream as well. It, you know, it can be one of those things where you choose. Uh, and especially when we're working in like maybe some special education classrooms, this has come up a lot with our consultants who work in special education, a teacher can live stream to the huddle with their coach or with their cohort, but then they can choose to not save the video, just the chat that comes from that. So um, Lots of really, really exciting, uh, exciting features that bring it all together. Tucky says our new teacher mentor problem program would benefit from these new enhancements. So, so yeah, definitely, definitely, Chucky, for that as well. If you're wondering how to how this would all look, maybe you're not a Sydney customer yet. Maybe you are, but you're looking at new avenues, especially with the pressures of um, having to kind of wade through all of the effects of COVID. Head on over to our learning center, learn.sydney.com. We have a new teacher mentorship and induction program course that lays out exactly how you could use video in a variety of ways, whether that's teachers recording themselves or you've got model videos that you're calibrating over um, and how you can do that in a comprehensive way throughout like a two-year program for that particular course. Blended professional learning, including remote blended professional learning when you don't have a brick and mortar uh, space to come together for the face-to-face -face, is dropping next week. So you can pre-register for that uh, course. All of our courses are free at the Learning Center. So definitely check those out or reach out to us if you've got a question. You, you can send us a, a DM if you don't have our emails or feel free to email us. Anyone you have access to here at Sydney uh, will get you in touch with the person who can help you out. So um, definitely check that out. Dave, it's been a pleasure. I know you've got a, a customer meeting to, to go to soon. Anything you want to say before, um, before leaving today? Yeah, I just want to thank you all for having me on today. I, I think, uh, you know, we're we're entering a very sort of uncertain time uh, in going into next year. And uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, school districts, uh, school leaders are, you know, sort of uncertain about what's going to happen in the fall or, you know, trying to put those plans together and are extremely busy right now with just thinking through this challenging time. And I, 
I just want to let everybody know that we're here to help. Uh, so any schools or districts that you know feel that uh, they're going to need more support around remote and blended learning, uh, you know, if schools do get shut down again, or they're you know, you just you're you're doing a combination of remote and on site with students next year, which could very well happen. We believe SIBME can help in that way, you know, and help, uh, of course, help you navigate through the, the really challenging times uh, that we're going to be facing here coming coming up in the fall. So uh, happy to help, um, you know, and if we're not a great fit, then there might be something else out there. But uh, we believe that uh, SIBME is a great solution for um, for helping in this work. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, Dave. Thanks for, for uh, joining us today. Brian, anything from you? Thanks for joining us, Dave. Okay. Thank Good you. luck at your meeting. Talk day. to you soon. Bye. Bye All right. Um, that's exciting. Thanks, everybody, who uh, submitted some questions. If we didn't get to your question or if you're watching the show um, after we're live, feel free to submit them. And Dave will go on in there. I'm volunteering him to go, <laughs> go on in there and answer your questions um, for you. So, um, Michelle, thanks, thanks again, and definitely check it out. I will email you the link, the direct links to the courses for you. Um, so speaking of courses and speaking of, you know, where can we, that's where a lot of people are right now. We've been focused on how do we teach students, right? We've been focused on the the end experience, the most important experience, which is that teacher experience, the, the student experience in this, in this remote learning environment. But then how do we support teachers as we're looking at, you know, what was going to typically happen in summer PD may have to happen remotely, or, you know, how are we going to provide the professional learning experiences that we traditionally provide to teachers in an untraditional way? So if you are facing that right now, if you are a PD specialist, a PD provider, an instructional coach, anybody who's going to be um, designing any type of professional learning experience, um, and you're not quite sure where to start or how to make those decisions, because it's different. You can't just willy-nilly take a three-hour face-to-face session and just make it a three-hour Zoom. Um, you really should make some instructional decisions around that. Uh, we are here to help with that. So our course that we've been talking about, Blended Professional Development and Video, comes out next week. We will have Stephanie Affinito, Dr. Stephanie Affinito, who is the uh, primary author of the course content, will be joining us. She's been doing a lot of remote, blended, and online professional learning um, in the in the wake of the COVID experiences. So she's going to come on, talk a little bit about some of the things that she's excited about and things that she's learned as she's moved forward. So she'll join us next Wednesday. Um, and that's also the day that we plan to release the course. So um, you can pre-register if you want to, and you'll get emailed the, the moment that we open it, um, or you can go head on over there anytime afterwards. So check that out. Um, all right. Thanks, Chucky, for, for joining us today on, on the show. What a busy um, chat we had, Corey. Yeah. I mean, just everybody's pitching in. Everybody's there. It's great. Yeah, guys, yeah. Uh, well, Chucky says, you know, I think it'd be outstanding if you could all collect exemplar teaching clips that we could use in your coaching. So one of the things about SIBME is we're FERPA and COPPA compliant, and, and we don't have access to those videos that you have. Um, we, we do have access to some of ours that we use in our um, SIBME coach replay show that we make sure that all of everybody's faces and names are blurred and removed from the video clip. Um, but that is a request we get a lot. Something uh, to note, Chucky, we are, as of this week, officially working on a uh, teacher professional learning experience that would be a blended version um, to around formative assessment, which is where we're going to start. But um, we will have something to be able to offer for your teachers completely free for SIBME customers. Our hopes is to have it ready by July, um, where your teachers could take a um, course that's practice based on um, having uh, using formative assessment strategies in both face to face and remote and blended environments. One of our amazing virtual coaches, Kelly Pittman, is working on that now. And so um, we're excited about that. And then so that'll be a good four hours of professional learning that they'd be able to earn uh, for that. And of course, it will um, hinge on that practice based. Um, how do you kind of rehearse that or use it within your classroom? So 
more to come on that. Um, definitely, definitely uh, thinking about those type, those needs as we continue to move forward. So, um, so let's move to our our shout outs. Uh, yes. Ryan. Yeah. Yes. So let's do it. this week we're giving a big, big shout out to. Uh, let me move some buttons around here to Cypress Springs High School in Texas. Where do you go, Cypress Springs? Yes. What what what. what? What brought them to the the shout out party? Yeah, so Jenny Jenny uh, was working on their end of year report, their review data, and she said, "Oh my goodness, like it's just amazing the activity that they have had um, as they've continued to move forward. Um, they've got lots of hours of videos uploaded, they um, lots of videos viewed. So just shout out to them for continuing to push it. I mean, sometimes it's harder at at the high school level, we um, have a hard time sometimes coming out of our silos or just finding the time. We've got lots of classes that we're managing and lots of preps to prepare for. And so um, having worked on high school campuses uh, as an instructional coach, I know it can be hard to make the time for that. And they are still reflecting and refining. And so that is um, pretty amazing. So shout out to Cypress Springs High School in Texas. So way to go, guys. Keep up the good work. We'll see you and we'll see you next year soon. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, definitely. All right, Brian, anything else for today? Everybody stay safe out there. Um, I know I, we all kind of see a little bit of light at the end of the, the tunnel and um, the school year is kind of wrapping up, but uh, thanks for all your hard work out there. I really appreciate yeah. you. Thanks for joining us on the show. It was really fun having everybody uh, chime in. So um, I love that. So keep we'll, that coming. We'll, we'll see you all next week. Okay. All right. All right. Be there, right, be square. Bye, Bye, everyone.